everyone this is game frost and today we'll be doing another great tutorial where today we are going to go buy a phone that's right this tutorial will be about um um giving your phone maximum perform or just giving better performance or may might be minor performance but um you it does require a rooted phone in order to acquire this so this app right here we all know i think is called kernel auditor this app literally controls everything of um on what the phone does it, it it literally shows you the phone's temperature it shows you the battery's temperature it it shows you the gpu frequency the cpu's frequency and all that stuff here this app is best known for for actually overclocking i wouldn't consider this overclocking but i consider it's like uh giving it maximum performance so yeah so right here if we go here it shows you everything it shows you the processor the name the vendor everything it gives you features that that um that's in, included in the phone it also gives you the ram it shows you the android code name which is which i'm running on um, android 8 which is oreo and all this other great stuff so this is the good stuff right here the kernel so if we go to cpu right here we can see apply on boot and we can see how many cores we have but this is not what we're focusing what we're focusing is actually the frequencies of the cpu and the gov the cpu governor so if we click on minimum frequency i'm going to change it to 1401 and the 1401 is actually my max my maximum frequency so if i put that both it'll give me maximum usage all right so i'll just leave it as 960 but you um if you want to keep it if you want to keep the sitting the settings sorry about that um you have to click apply on boot and you have to leave this one checked now for the cpu governor now this now this is the good parts but it actually have um effects on your battery so if you click on performance it it would actually put your cpu on high usage at the cost of more battery and more heat output now if you click on interactive i believe that it likes it mm, maybe you can like it maybe it's from your actions if you click on on demand it might um do something with like cpu core like which core to enable which one not to and all this other stuff now for power save if you click this it will disable as many like it's not gonna disable but like when it needs to be disabled it gets disabled and what it does is that uh it turns down the, C the cpu on frequency so it can save much much as much power as possible now on the next thing so thermal now i really don't know much about it but core control i think i know i think it literally controls um the cores so it disables one core and it controls the other to limit um thermal throttling or too much um heat output thermal throttle is where it limits the uh the cpu um, frequencies and i think that vdd restriction i think it might like i think it restricts some voltage so if you go if your phone goes goes at a high voltage it might restrict it now if you guys want to play with this i i recommend just leaving this blank for now but if you really want to like you know do any like change thermal drivers you can so before you change it it'll give you a warning because i don't think you should like you know put too much um drivers enabled at once so yeah on to the next one this is the good part so the gpu so if you're a gamer right and you want like the best frequency like your games are literally lagging and it's on low quality and you really don't like it well this is really really good so my maximum gpu frequency is actually 650 megahertz so i click the minimum and i change it 650 so i'll go as um at the highest frequency and what you need to do now this the gpu governor might be difficult but if you see the performance right here this is the place right here so you click on performance you're going to get the best maximum performance now if you want a power save because you know the gpu uses um a lot of you know gpu usage and you want a power save you can click that button but everything else you might just leave that alone because i really don't know what that is 
I think VMEM, I think it deals with the, you know, um, GPU's virtual memory. So I'll leave it at it as it is and you could apply on boot. So the next thing is the screen. We don't need to know that. It just only shows you one feature. If you have more features, well, I don't know. I only have one feature. Uh, which is high brightness mode so now if we go to battery it just shows you the level and the voltage but if it has other settings let me know down in the comments uh all right io scheduler now this is something that i've always wanted to know the io scheduler i believe that uh is something to do with like i don't know but like i think if you like put the read ahead to the maximum um value it might increase performance this is the only thing i know it, it works on some devices like when i tried on the android 4.4 it lit like it literally went from slow to a little bit faster low memory killer if you want to um kill so it's basically uh, a place where you actually can kill apps like apps i use is like like uh high memory you could like you know kill it and so you could save memory and you could click apply and boot now virtual memory is something that um people always wanted to know like they're always saying oh we want more memory on our phones well it can give you more memory but it only uses your phone storage and basically the phone's memory is faster than the phone storage and this is how it works so if you're so if you're running out of phones like if you're running out of memory for example like let's say my i'm using my two gig phone and i'm running an application where it uses about uh where it uses about three gigs right so it it, it consumes all two gigs and it relies on the um on the on the storage you can use zram or virtual ram to help to help um to help keep the application um stable but it comes at a cost though if if your storage is not as fast enough it wouldn't work and i recommend and i recommend using an sd card so you can change the swappiness of your uh of your vram my my max is actually 2002 uh, gigs so but if yours is way beyond that um it's up to you it, now i recommend you using it like out of like a 32 gig phone or, or higher or i recommend using your sd card for it to work and you could click on apply to boot but yeah this is how it works it's like similar to like you know computers like windows it, it, it literally like relies on physical storage so on to the next one sorry about that it might be a little bit laggy but i think that it might uh uh it might uh not make me switch so give me a second all right so we are in the next one which is entropy i'm sorry guys it seems that the virtual memory is kind of buggy but i don't know if kernel auditor actually supports android 9 just yet but all i know that is now supporting android 8 so if you have an android 8 or lower it does work so for entropy i think it basically you know relies on read and write so i think if you like like put in max it will it will affect your phone drastically um for me i use uh a, a app called l speed which i'll make a tutorial on it soon i really i really like kernel auditor but the problem is is it just it, it drains my battery real fast and like it, it produced more heat output but this right here if you want to like speed up your phone storage just put all this in max and click apply on boot now on the next one is miscellaneous um i really don't know what to do here on the network i just leave this one blank data sharing uh leave this one blank uh yeah but now this one this one is the build prop editor and this right here is kind of dangerous to use like now it's the build prop editor is like it's like a it's like a fun way to prank your friends like let's say let's say oh you could change your android version like let's say android version 8 so if you click edit 
you could change it to like 9, 10, 11, or 12. And, and, then, the, and then the person will say, whoa, you got an Android 12, 11, 10. That's crazy. But it's, while, while it's not true. Now if, you're, now, if you're trying to edit this, um, please be cautious because it can mess up your system. Until you, If you're like experienced or something, well, you can mess with this. But I, uh, I'm pretty sure you're not because last time when I tried it, it literally broke um, my um, Android 5 tablet, which it was horrible. And, you know, I really don't want to mess with the build prop unless if you want to change like simple names, like let's say the model or the product name that, that that's safe to change, especially the, the version. But anything like let's say the build version SDK um, and stuff like that, it actually can mess up your Google um, your Google services. And yeah, so we have on boot, it shows blank and settings and everything else. So yeah, if you wanna, if you if you don't like Celsius, you can click Fahrenheit as well. You can change your theme, everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And if you hear something in the background, I think it's my air conditioner. I think it's very loud. But yeah, I will record videos soon on my computer. It's just that you know, I, it's you know, there's my it's in my living room to be honest, and there's like so much things going on people talking and stuff and you know I can't I can't record like this but you know it's it's complicated but um if you guys like this tutorial please leave a like and if you guys um are interested in my content I mean on my content sorry about that consider subscribing to see more and we'll see you next time bye everybody